Hello everybody, I don't often make videos on Windows builds, but it's one of those times when I'm just disappointed. The new Windows 11 beta build changes the blue screen of death to show even less information. And then on top of that removes the essential obby slash bypass and a row script. See, it's no longer found. For those of you who aren't familiar, the obby slash bypass and a row script helped you bypass the network requirements inside the out-of-box experience. As you can see, the script makes the computer reboot and past the reboot, it's not going to ask you to connect to the internet so that you can create a local account and avoid the forced Microsoft account requirement. It's the fallback hobby here, but doesn't really matter. <laughs> so technically, if you're an ordinary grandma that knows nothing about Windows, or even slightly more technology proficient user that knows how to search things online, you can no longer install Windows without connecting to the internet and connecting it with the godforsaken Microsoft account. It looks like I've lost my internet connection and I cannot continue. Hmm. Let's see what our blog has to say about these two drastic design changes. Here's the official Microsoft blog post on the newest beta build we're talking about. Here they list the entire change log, but we're more particularly interested in how they describe the change of the bug check and the removal of the bypass NRO. So let's go ahead and read that out loud. We're previewing a new, more streamlined UI for unexpected restarts, which better aligns with Windows 11 design principles and supports our goal of getting users back into productivity as fast as possible. Look how they sugarcoat it. <laughs> We've simplified your experience while preserving the technical information on the screen. As a reminder, for Windows insiders, this appears as a green screen. No, well, nothing new here. This is beginning to roll out to Windows insiders on Windows 11, version 24H2 and higher in the beta, dev, and canary channels. Here's how that looks. They stripped the bug check of the said smiley and the QR code, and the rest seems pretty much the same. I gotta say, I actually hate the word streamlined. It's basically become a euphemism for stripping the features away from the user. I mean, I would consider the QR code a feature of sorts, because, I mean, it looked more friendly to the user. This looks kind of threatening. It has a threatening aura, if you know what I mean. <laughs> not everything needs to be streamlined, that's my point. Especially not the screen that shows you important debug information. Pretty disappointing, Microsoft. Another horrible, pointless change. Well, we have no control over that. But what's happening to Windows lately is absolute cinema. <laughs> I have nothing else to say about it. I'll read the announcement of the next change directly from the blog as well. See what I have to say about the bypass NRO script. We're removing the bypass NRO.cmd script from the build to enhance security and user experience of Windows 11. This change ensures that all users exit setup with an internet connectivity and a Microsoft account. You lovely saints, thank you for enhancing my security, aka forcing me to connect my computer to the internet and enhancing my user experience, aka forcing me to log into the Microsoft account. I cannot express my frustration with the gaslighting that's happening in this blog post. I don't want a Microsoft account, and what if that's an offline computer that's only connected to the local area network? Because this is my computer, and its security and user experience is my concern, and none of your business. Get the hell off my face with this stupid forced Microsoft account BS. Also, do you hear that? These dogs are out of control, bro. So I couldn't get the new blue screen to show up, no matter which branch I downloaded the build from. But I don't think it's anything special that can't be shown in a single frame. Just wanna let you know, I couldn't get it to work for some reason. I've been trying for like the past two days. In theory, the new bug check should be available in the beta, dev and canary builds with a feature ID 5070238. And ideally, you should be able to turn it on using Vive tool. 
My attempts failed and the feature flag reset leaving me with the old bug check. I mean we have the screenshots. Imagine though it's an early April Fool's joke or something and that's the reason I can't reproduce that right now. That'd be super funny. Anyway that's a slightly more simplified version of the current bug check without a smiley. Rest in peace. And it's also going to be black in production builds. Yet again. Meaning BSOD yet again stands for the black screen of death instead of blue screen of death. Whatever man. Can't wait to see them revert it again a couple builds later. As for the bypass and the rose script. It was a script after all. So let's go ahead and examine the contents of it to learn what exactly it used to do on the older builds. Notepad ob slash bypass and a row dot cmd. Alright. Looks like nothing much. So first of all, it silences the output of the batch script using the at echo off macro. Then it adds a registry value called bypass and a row with a type registry d word and sets it to one inside the obi key under h key local machine software microsoft windows current version and then it restarts the computer pretty simple that's all it does let's see if it works on the newer version of windows okay we're back on the newest version of windows 11 let's verify that by showing the version right here 26 120 and the b slash bypass and a row script no longer works, it just doesn't exist. Let's go ahead and verify there is no internet connection present by skimming through the first part of the obby. Yep, let's connect you to a network and there is no option to skip the network check. Now, let's open the registry editor, then find the key software microsoft windows current version i'll be let's create a new d word value called bypass nro set it to one very nice and then restart we have basically manually reproduced the script have they turned it off in the out of box experience Let's find out. Oh wow, you still have the button. Huge. So the only thing they did was to remove the bypass NRO script, but the registry setting is still present, which is uh, actually great, great news. Now it's going to take them another six months to remove the registry value from the obby. <laughs> And yeah, you can still bypass the network requirements, even though the script is gone. Gotta turn all this garbage off before proceeding. All right. And we're in. Beautiful. Another trick you guys can employ to bypass the network requirements is using the protocol commands. Basically, the out-of-box experience application provides us a protocol and there are a couple commands they have implemented and some of them remain from Windows 10. I showed off many of these commands in a video from like a year ago, experimenting on the out-of-box experience application. That's also when I found there is a developer console in the, <laughs> in the obby. Oh wait, did they fix it? Wait, it doesn't work anymore used to be able to press Control shift j and open up the developer console. Wow, I think they removed it from production finally. <laughs> anyway, the protocol this application provides is called ms-cxh and you can run commands using start ms-cxh colon double slash and then input your command. And one of those commands is local only. Whenever you run that, it opens a dialog box to create a user for this computer. We can name our user and add a password. 
the security questions are also on the same page, which, which is pretty nice, I should say. That's, um, that's also a piece of a fallback obby. You can break this application to run that as well. Let's go ahead and click next. And it just basically skips the entire out-of-box experience and we're in. Super, super nice. But the only downside to that is you'll be faced with a second chance obby, as they call it, SC obby which will pass you to choose privacy settings and whatnot. And you just accept it once and you move on with your day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly am not enjoying Microsoft going down the rogue path, preparing the users for a forced Microsoft account integration. Luckily, this is not possible to achieve with the current Windows architecture. The local users are pretty much baked into the system and I don't see how they're going to police this. But the trend is quite obvious. I'm a big fan of Windows, personally. But damn, Linux for personal use is looking real hot right now. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.